Hello there! You're watching At The Bench with Norgen Biotech. Today, we will demonstrate the step-by-step -step workflow for Norgen's Total RNA Purification Plus Kit, catalog number 48300. This kit offers purification of RNA from a wide variety of sample types, including cells growing in suspension and lifted cells, animal tissues, blood, and viral samples, which will be demonstrated in this procedure. This kit includes genomic DNA removal columns for efficient elimination of gDNA. This kit offers fast and easy processing using a rapid spin column format. It allows for purification from RNA down to microRNA, with no phenol or chloroform extractions required. Purification is very sensitive and linear down to a few cells or viral copies without the need for carrier RNA. RNA purified using this kit is suitable for a variety of downstream applications, including NGS. Upon opening the kit, you will find a detailed product insert, RNA purification columns, gDNA removal columns, collection tubes, elution tubes, buffer RL, wash solution A, and elution solution A. And you as the user will need to provide 96 to 100% ethanol and RNAs free microcentrifuge tubes for processing all acceptable sample types, 70% ethanol, mortar and pestle, and liquid nitrogen for processing animal tissue. First, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from cells growing in suspension and lifted cells. Transfer cell suspension to an RNAs free tube and centrifuge at no more than 425 G or 2000 RPM for 10 minutes to pellet cells. Carefully decant the supernatant. Add 350 microliters of buffer RL to the pellet. Lyse cells by vortexing for 15 seconds. Ensure that the entire pellet is completely dissolved before proceeding to the next step. Next, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from animal tissues. Excise the tissue sample from the animal. Determine the amount of tissue by weighing. We recommend starting with an input of no more than 10 milligrams. Transfer the tissue into a mortar that contains an appropriate amount of liquid nitrogen to cover the sample. Grind the tissue thoroughly using a pestle. Allow the liquid nitrogen to evaporate without allowing the tissue to thaw. Add 600 microliters of buffer RL to the tissue sample and continue to grind until the sample has been homogenized. Homogenize by passing the lysate 5 to 10 times through a 25 gauge needle attached to a syringe. Transfer the lysate into an RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Spin the lysate for 2 minutes to pellet any cell debris. Transfer the supernatant to another RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Note the volume of supernatant or lysate. Thirdly, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from blood. Transfer up to 100 microliters of non-coagulated blood into an RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Add 350 microliters of buffer RL to the blood. Lyse cells by vortexing for 15 seconds. Lastly, we will demonstrate cell lysate preparation from viral suspension. Transfer up to 100 microliters of viral suspension to an RNAs free microcentrifuge tube. Add 350 microliters of buffer RL. Lyse viral cells by vortexing for 15 seconds. Ensure that the mixture becomes transparent before proceeding to the next step. Now that your samples have been lysed, you can now perform the gDNA removal. Assemble a gDNA removal column with one of the provided collection tubes. Apply up to 600 microliters of the lysate prepared from the sample preparation step onto the column and centrifuge at 20,800 G or 14,000 RPM for one minute. Retain the flow through for RNA purification. The flow through contains the RNA and should be stored on ice or at negative 20 degrees Celsius until the RNA purification protocol is carried out. Dispose of the gDNA removal column with the bound gDNA. Now that the gDNA has been removed, it is time to bind RNA to the column. To every 100 microliters of flow through, add 60 microliters of 96 to 100% ethanol. Mix by vortexing. Assemble an RNA purification column with one of the provided collection tubes. Apply up to 600 microliters of the lysate with the ethanol onto the column. 
and centrifuge for one minute at 3500 G or 6000 RPM. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Apply 400 microliters of wash solution A to the column and centrifuge for one minute. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Wash the column two more times with 400 microliters of wash solution A and centrifuge for one minute for a total of three washes. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Spin the column empty for two minutes in order to thoroughly dry the resin. Place the column into a fresh 1.7 milliliter elution tube provided with the kit. Discard the collection tube. Add 50 microliters of elution solution A to the column. Centrifuge for two minutes at 425 G or 2000 RPM, followed by one minute at 20,800 G or 14,000 RPM. The purified RNA sample may be stored at negative 20 degrees Celsius for a few days. It is recommended that samples be placed at negative 70 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. RNA purified using this kit can be used in the following downstream applications. Next generation sequencing, RTQ-PCR, viral detection, microarrays, northern blotting, and more. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. And remember to follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. See you next time at the bench.